Welcome guys. Today we are going to see how to install Oracle Database Express Edition 11G. So this is the link. This is the link in the browser and you can see this page and you can now load the file. If Windows 64 bit is there so you can download this file or if the windows is 32 bits you can download this file if you click this file it will ask you the oracle will ask you the username and password just give the username and password and it will download that file or if it is not there just you can create the account okay guys so i have already downloaded the, the that file so this is the file i have downloaded just right click on this and extract that file so it will take a little bit time to extract now i have extracted this file just click on this and you can see the setup file is there just right click here and say run as administrator so it will ask you yes or no so click on the yes and it start installing So it is preparing to install. So you can say next, accept the terms and agreement. So it is free of cost. So click on the next, where you want to install. So I am installing on the C drive okay and click on the next yes you can give the year the database administrator password that is system system is a dba or sys is also dba so give the password give the simple password don't give the special character like at the rate like that so i am giving a simple at system come from so i have given the just system as a password just click on the next so install so it will install the oracle on the port 1521 so it will take a little bit time to install at the first time It will take a little bit time. The full.
it is creating and starting the service for Oracle Database 11G Express Edition. It's configuring the database now. will take a little bit long time So it finished the installation, just click on the finish. And you can see the, see this icon you will get on the desktop. So how to start the Oracle? So just type start database and just click on here and say yes. So it will start the database, okay. Now you can run the SQL prompt. So click on this. So this is the terminal. So you can see the SQL plus 11.2. Here you can connect. the system password center. so it is connected now now you can practice the command here oracle so if i say select start 
um, yeah, all the tables. So it will show all these tables. Okay. You can create here on your tables or you can create a new user. I will suggest that you create a new user and work on that. So your tables and views or will be kept separate. So how to create a new user here? So command is create user. Suppose I'm giving a user as identified by is a command keyword and here you have to give the password. So I am giving a password as one, two, three. So give the simple password. So user is created. So because of I have connected to the system, system is a DBA. So it is allowing me to create the user. So how to connect with the Anand user. So before that, you have to give the permission. So give the permission, say grant, connect. So to Anand. So it will give the permission to connect and other resources. So currently I am as a system user. Now I want to connect with the Anand user. So connect Anand, give the password one, two, three. Now I am here giving. So now if you see for user, so I am now as a working as Anand, you can see select uh, um, MP. So there is no EMP table. You can create the EMP table or you can say select star from tab because there is no any table. So you can run the demonstration table here if you have that file. So you can run that file. So if you have that file, you can run. So if you want to create any Table like table T1. So this is the table C table is created. You can see insert into T1. So let's give the name giving one then so, um, so you created now you can see select star form one or you can say select star form tab so you'll see the table now and you can say select star form t1 so you'll see the all the records so you can use the all command I hope you got the idea how to install the Oracle Express Edition 11G and how to run the command and how to create an user and how to give the permission to that user and you can work on that. So guys, so thank you very much. I hope you like this video. So click on the like button, share this video and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you very much guys.